What does it mean to be a global collaborator? Well, simply, it means that you work with people across demographic, geographic, political, or other divides. Now, global collaboration happens across the world with people whom you might have never thought of connecting with, or even people in your own town. Now, global, in our context, means that collaboration is bringing together diverse participants to work toward a common goal, meaning that specific preparation and skills are key to success. But how would you meet such people? Maybe on a trip or through your job or because of an organization? And how would you communicate? Do you speak the same language? Are you in the same time zone? Like how do your cultures and customs intersect? How would you determine your common interests? Or how would you work together or decide if the fit isn't quite right? Now, working with people you know well can be complex and working with people from foreign places presents even more challenges. So why do this? Well, interactions with people in contexts unlike your own build empathy and understanding. They can become platforms for traveling the world and scaling the impacts of your work. Being a global collaborator gives young people new perspectives on how cultures and practices differ across the world and asks them to understand and celebrate difference instead of stigmatizing or judging it. Now, in collaborative online learning environments, students work together across divides of geography, language, and history to build their intercultural communication and collaboration skills, make friends, and maybe even visit each other. However, the most impactful learning experiences might be reflecting of one's own culture and beliefs. Traditions and systems that students have taken for granted throughout their lives may begin to appear new or strange or different once they learn how other people and places approach those issues. Now, global collaboration is hard, but when implemented well with a full understanding of the challenges and plans to address them, it can have incredibly positive impacts and outcomes for the participants. Now, in this course, you'll learn the common challenges of global collaboration and the benefits. You'll reflect on your own circumstances and explore the next steps. Our materials will help you plan for the expected challenges and anticipate some of the less expected elements. Now, we hope to aid your decision to begin some form of global collaboration and prepare you for success.